I'm sure by now most of you who have been following the Amber Spradlin story have heard the verdict that was rendered by the judge this week concerning the bond reduction for MK McKinney. I'm going to do a quick update here in this video. And there is a documentary out right now if you haven't seen it. It's called Justice for Amber. I'm going to post a link in the comments and also at the end of this video if you stick around to the very end you can click on it and it'll take you to that um, link. I really recommend watching this whether you are following the Amber Spradlin story or you are new to it. It goes into a lot of detail about this young woman's life, who she was, how she was raised, tragedies that took place in her life and it seems almost this today being Halloween, I, I hate to sound like I'm projecting here, but it seems almost like a curse, maybe, um, on the fact that her mother, her sister, and then Amber herself all, all died in these tragic, horrible ways. And um, if you haven't watched that documentary, I do recommend it. It will give you a lot of insight, stuff that I didn't even know about. And um, I, my videos can't hold water to this uh, production that they put together and the interviews that they conducted with Amber's family. So I really do recommend it. And I appreciate everyone who's taken the, the time to watch my videos. I am currently working on some uh, older stories out of West Virginia. I'm trying to get a little bit closer back to my roots of Appalachia. Judge Eddie Coleman came back with the verdict yesterday on this um, bond reduction, and he denied the, to lower the bond. The bond is currently still at $5 million cash. I don't know if they will post the bond or not, and I don't know what the regulations or the stipulations would be if they did now he would probably just like his father and co-defendant he would be on house arrest and have to wear an ankle monitor and be monitored but with mk the judge felt that he does have these violent tendencies he believes that he does have some um or it's been suggested by others that he does have some mental problems that maybe would lead to him becoming more violent and um, I, I'm sure that this will be the defense's next move is to argue because the judge um, even though the attorney for MK McKinney is trying to point the finger at Roy Kidd I don't think the judge or anyone else is going to uh, go that route I don't think that they are going to pursue any kind of charges against Roy I could be wrong if you are not from this area and you've been listening to my videos or anyone else's for that matter about Amber and you want to learn more about her this documentary really goes into a lot of detail about her life as a child um, it's sad there's details about Amber that I haven't, I probably haven't mentioned. Uh, the fact that her own mother died under mysterious circumstances after spending the evening at a bar, just like Amber did. And she was raised by her grandparents who did the best job they could to give her a wonderful life. But it just goes into a lot of detail about Amber who she was before this happened um, there's one detail that I will mention here Amber took this job at the Brick House restaurant she'd only been working there a few weeks when this took place it was said that the night that she died that MK and Michael McKinney were managing the restaurant that night which when I say restaurant let me just say this is also a bar and a lot of people do go there to listen to music and drink. They also go there to get food throughout the daytime. It's more of like a lunch spot. 
but she'd only been working there a few weeks and I don't know if this was the first time that she had met or encountered MK McKinney or if he had you know spoken with her on other occasions in the few weeks that she had been working there um, Amber didn't have to work there the way that the documentary talks her grandparents left her enough you know of a um, nest egg I'll say that she would be able to live off of um, she could have started her own little home business of some kind but she wanted to get out in the public she wanted to be around people in the documentary, she her aunt says that she tells her the reason she took the job was because she was just bored at home all the time. And it was just her and her cats. She wanted to get out and be around other people. And it's just, it's very sad that she chose these people. Or maybe they chose her, I don't know. But that she ended up, her one time of really being out and about on her own um, independently and this is what happens to her like I said I will post a link to that documentary and I do highly recommend it the moderator of that Brandis Bradley um, she did a great job um, in this documentary and she has a lot of videos and I think maybe on TikTok about Amber. This whole community of Floyd County, Prestonsburg, Martin, Kentucky, all that area down, they have um, all come together for Amber. Now, like I said, there are still supporters of the McKinney's and um, people look at them. Keep in mind some of them may not have seen any signs of MK being that way. They may not have seen any violence, violent tendencies. They may not have heard those stories. And maybe they do believe that Roy Kidd committed this murder because this is what the McKinney's are telling people. But I just wanted to come back and give this little update on that. And I'm going to move on now to some other stories that I've been working on. And I appreciate everyone's time. Thanks for watching.